just doing a test with A camera, which is a Sony FX3, B camera FX30, going to the Lilliput, Lilliput monitor 4K, technical sync, mix pre 3 audio. This is going to channel one, Sennheiser boom mic, hopefully sounding good. We also have a Sony wireless mic. So we have wireless mic. This is, I have to be more consistent. So this is channel two. This, this is a Sony wireless mic, channel two, channel two. Channel three, have to make sure the levels are good. Let's stay on that. Walter, 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 Walter. Walter, 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 Walter. 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 Walter, 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 Walter. I think I have to bring my headset. So I also have a technical sync track E. This is just a demo to see how the just getting everything ready for NAB. Sennheiser. Channel one on the mix pre three, which I can see the audio levels on my Wingman iPad app. This is channel three, and this is, which I have to get better at how to mount this. I'm gonna increase the levels on channel three. <clears throat> Just a short test in the garage using the, the Nanlite 300B, Forza 300B2, and the new rectangular softbox by SMDV. <clears throat> we have boom mic, Sennheiser 416. We have a handheld mic, and we also have a lavalier mic. I'm also using a different, a different mic, lavalier mic. We have the Sony ZV-E10 over there, doing a little back uh, behind the scenes. My battery on my A7R5, I didn't bring a spare, so that's fine. Everything, all the cameras are going to be powered with the Sony batteries, but I'm going to have USB-C keeping them fully charged. The big thing is the Lilliput monitor, I want to be powered by a V-mount. Currently it's being powered by a Nanlite 14.8 volt. In addition, that 14.8 volt is also powering the Zepon uh, slider and also has the power for the iPad mini. Every show, last show was Cine Gear Expo Brooklyn. I learned something about the rolling stand that I want to adjust or fix. So having power to the, to the lily put and also power to the slider by V-mount battery was important to me, so I have that. First time using the Nanlite 300B2. 
and just trying to get continue to get good audio as I'm on my audio learning journey. And I'm going to put this mic behind me. This is, just to demo, see how it looks. This is a new unreleased to USA softbox by SMDV. Unboxing. Brand spanking new. Never been out of the bag. With SMDV, you can put on a mount of your choice. This is a Bowens mount. And what's nice is in the back of the flip, you can put your mount of choice. I like using the Bowens mount. Very secure snap-in. What's nice about the square softbox is it only has four rods, so opening is much easier. This is the flip 80 by 80. And what's nice is I can see the camera down here, which is the FX30 on a slider. I can see it in the monitor for, if I'm watching myself doing a video. This has the new inside silver inside the bag. Still in the package. It has two outside inside diffuser. We are going to put in the first diffuser, which is the with little clips inside. So this is just a example of what would be filmed and recorded or recorded at the trade show with the cameras. This is technically an unboxing of the new 80 by 80 square SMDV flip sock box. I got that it's brand new. I didn't never put it together. So this is actually sort of cool. Sort of cool, I guess. You let me know in the comments if this is cool or not. April 4th, I believe. It's a Monday, or April 3rd. NAB is coming up, so I have to get prepared for that. I'm still working on videos from the Sand Gear Expo Brooklyn. My goal is to have all those videos done, completed, uploaded before I head off to NAB. It's always nice to get the previous event completed. Then inside baffle spreads the light. The softbox that's on the Forza 300 now is the new version. It's a rectangle instead of a square. I have to decide, I might go with the square. I might go with the square because it's a smaller footprint, even though it's probably better to have the rectangle. I'm going to do a little test. Since I'm Recording behind the scenes over there. So this is the brand new, not released in USA yet, spring distribution. We'll have this in stock. Hopefully by the time I release this video. And for me, this is going to be much easier than the regular SMDV because this one only has four rods, which this should make it easier for me to open and close at the trade show. Less struggle for me. Which 
means faster setup. So this is the 80 by 80. And what I'll do is, once I get it all on, And just for those that have not seen SMDV, the travel, it folds down very flat and it fits in the bag, which is provided with the softbox. So once you have it set up, Close in the bag. Take it off. Spread out the two arms now. And square. So what I'm gonna do, since I have that video going, I'm going to switch out the rectangle one. Keep the video going. Once I put this on, I don't take it off. I think I might go with the uh, red tingle because it actually yes, I just figured out. I'm going to use the red tingle one. The red Rectangle is a 60 by 90, and the square is a 80 by 80. So I'm going to have this one at NAB because it spreads the light out, but it's only 60 millimeters high. 90 if I go this way, 60 if I go this way. So switch it back. I heard that good snap. So I have technical, technical sinks on the FX3, FX30, a ZVE10 over there, FX3 here, FX30 down there, and the MixPre3, all time sync also using the track E. The Sony ZV-E10 is on a iFootage version two. And what I like about it is the, leg, the feet are very nice and it folds up very quickly. Should have by NAB version three, which is from what I saw for the reviews, is even faster to implement, plus it has the bigger footprint, and eye footage head would be really nice. To make this work, the ZVE-10 with Tentacle Sync, and have some scratch disc audio, I have the Sennheiser, I believe it's called the MK400, with a Tentacle Sync Y cable, going to the Sennheiser and the tentacle sink in the back. So I can have time code, which I can see. It's nice to have a little bit of audio, but it's so far it's working really well. The ZVE-10 with a Sony 18 to 105, where I am also able to use the zoom feature. 
showing the the yeah having the cinema head on this well I'm not sure if it's a cinema head but that does make it a lot easier to show I will have good cable management but this will have a V-mount battery. So what's nice about this, have, using the CV-10, it's on, especially in the iFootage monopod, is I can hook it right into the stand as I'm walking around. And since I'm a one-man band, I have to be able to do all of this within one minute. Trade shows are very busy, so I don't want to be dilly-dallying. I would like to have the Zeppon version three medium size to have a little bit more motion or distance, but this is what I own. If Zeppon sees this, I would definitely like to use the version three middle size at NAB 2023. Two 14.4 batteries, this would be B camera down here, A camera up there, FX3, Z, FX30, ZVE10 over there. Here comes the, the misses. So let's end this, just to test. Okay.